As President of the Australian Academy of Cinema and Television Arts, I feel thrilled, proud and very honoured to be standing here today under Air Force One. I'm in this Qantas A380. It's, I believe, named Fergus McMaster. He was the man who not only was the founding Qantas chairman in 1920, but he helped gather the investors and the capital needed for a successful airline. So it's not only a remarkable piece of engineering, it's a great aspirational symbol for actor. You know, on this particular day, in my mind, this beast could actually be a DC-3 shrouded in fog and in black and white. Because I think the actor today, USA Union, is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. As we head in just three short years into our fourth national and international awards season, we're certainly feeling the aerodynamic thrust of the wind beneath our wings. Actor and G'day USA had a slightly flirty, momentary fling way back in 2012 when nominees for actors' first ever international awards were announced at the G'day USA Gala in Los Angeles. I suppose you could say romantically, they had us at hello. Since then, it's no secret that we've been dating. We're on kind of a level of intimacy. I felt bold enough at last year's gala in LA to try and generously teach the Americans how to actually pronounce the word g'day. They get it so wrong. It's all Cameron Diaz. <laughs> the secret I told them in the downtown banqueting room was to employ absolutely no laryngeal or labial muscularity whatsoever. You just say, G'day. And if you sound anything remotely like a depressed crow, you know you're on the right track. <laughs> So today, Actor and G'day are taking the plunge from our sneaky pan-Pacific affair into a formal partnership which we hope will grow better with age. There are a couple of film quotes that I think help celebrate this marriage. From Vertigo, only one is a wanderer, two together are always going somewhere. Or, I will never leave you, I promise, aliens. <laughs> As our National Actor Awards move forward, continuing to reflect all the dimensions of our homegrown creative output, so do the International Awards, which are an inevitable adjunct in our five-year plan to recognize our screen peers from around the world and add an Australian voice to the global awards season alongside our much elder siblings, the BAFTAs and the Oscars adding something from our perspective to the conversation. As you saw in that film clip, certainly our actors, directors, designers, cinematographers, visual effects teams and beyond are all claiming their share fair of the footlights on the world stage. Our unique creativity over the last 40 years since the 70s renaissance has completely transformed the prior and relatively bleak 40 years when our storytelling energy could barely find a voice. We have 49 awards locally, our international awards on a seven categories. Past recipients, as you saw, include Meryl Streep, Quentin Tarantino, Michael Fassbender, David O. Russell, Alfonso Cuaron, Kate Blanchard, Jackie Weaver. That event has grown so quickly from an intimate, playful little Aussie soiree in Soho House in LA to the kind of hot ticket it's prestigious now this year uh, turning up at the Hollywood Palladium. It's, it's established a presence in that giddy North, Northern Spring Awards calendar. Uh, and making all this possible, I just want to say a few quick thanks to some of ACTA's valuable partners. Destination New South Wales, who have wholeheartedly supported and shared our journey since the Academy's inception in 2011. Foxtel, who will televise the ACTA International Awards for the second consecutive year. Screen Australia for their support, ongoing support to allow our 
academy to best promote our talented industry. And certainly not forgetting CEO Damien Truella and his team and the actor board for their resilience, pluckiness and sense of adventure really in truly getting this ball rolling. I'd also like to throw in a nod today to maestro chef Neil Perry for the remarkable cuisine of today's breakfast. When I spied Angela Bishop orgasmically hoeing into a mini brioche slider barn, I could only think, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> so, from the vertiginous heights of this A380, let me come right down to earth. We look forward to celebrating screen excellence across both great continents at next January's gala. We'll fasten our seatbelts. It won't be a bumpy ride. I haven't got any champagne, but I'm proposing a toast to the happy couple from an actor, from actor. G'day, g'day USA. Thank you.